I'm Emily, and I'm here in the machine shop stockroom to teach you how to identify the size of bolts, nuts, and other threaded parts. Students sometimes come to us looking for a bolt or nut to fit an existing part, and they don't know what size to ask for. Here's what you need to know to identify the size of a bolt or nut. First, the terminology. In the United States, the convention for describing threads is to give the bolt diameter followed by the number of threads per inch. So a bolt with a half inch diameter and 13 threads per inch is called out as 1 half 13. Bolts that are smaller than a quarter of an inch are designated by a gauge number. So a bolt of a 1 8 inch diameter and 40 threads per inch is called out as 540. Here's a list to show you which diameters correspond to which gauge sizes. You can find a copy of this list displayed on the fastener cabinet here in the stock room. Now that you know the terminology, here's how you can determine the size of the thread. First, Using micrometer or calipers, determine the actual outer or major diameter of the male screw thread. If you need help using a micrometer or calipers, please see our tutorial on measurement. You can also use a hole gauge to measure the outer diameter of your bolt. Second, using a ruler, calipers, or pitch gauge or thread gauge, determine the number of threads per inch on your bolt. To use a ruler, simply count the number of threads in an inch. With a thread gauge, you want to find the correct tool to fit the threads on your bolt, and then simply read the number off of the correct tool to determine the threads per inch. A quick and dirty way to do this involves a fastener necklace. With a fastener necklace, simply find the tool that fits your part, and read the number off the side. That's all you need to get started. If you're interested in more information, such as the difference between US and metric threads, more specific thread designations, or how pipe threads are unique, please see our tutorial on advanced fasteners.